ammunition. How much of it do I need to use to get good? Been getting a few questions lately right along these lines. A lot of you guys want to get good. You're willing to dry fire. You're willing to put in the effort. But ammunition's a problem. I know a little bit about this. Uh, when I made Grandmaster in USPSA, I'd fired less than 5,000 rounds in my life. It can be done without much ammo. So let me tell you this. If you're really serious about getting good, you go fire 200 rounds a week, a couple of drills, simple things, maybe shoot a match once a month, something like that, you can get really, really, really good with that much ammunition if you're willing to pay attention understand what's happening and adjust your dry fire accordingly. If you're just one of the dudes who wants to go rep it out, rep it out, rep it out, do more reps to solve the problem, that's not gonna get it done. But if you spend your ammunition wisely, getting acclimated to how the recoil feels, to what's going on with the sights, to how everything works, and then you adjust your dry fire accordingly, that's gonna be enough to get really, really good. Practicing with limited rounds. Uh, it's a follow-up on the last video I put out, so I, I think I want to read the question, then address it. Hey, dude, I have a question you may want to answer in video, or it may be too complex for a short clip, although I'm not sure. I just watched the one you dropped about making good use of 200 rounds, being critical of your performance, and having structured training. So my question is, how would you typically structure a training session that is say, between, say, two, 300 rounds, i.e., how many drills, how many times running a drill before you check your target, and how do you go about making those corrections during the training session? Do you typically focus on one aspect, run drills to work on that specific aspect, and then make corrections to only to only that on a range trip, or should we be compiling a few different things at once? Okay, so if you adopt the paradigm of, hey, I'm gonna shoot 200 rounds a week, and that's all I got to get good, then you just have to accept reality. You're not correcting shit during your 200 round practice session. That's not the point of it. As a matter of fact, what I tell most people in a competition class is, that live fire session, that's not your practice. That's not. Your practice is at home dry fire. When you go and shoot at the range, that's how you're kind of testing yourself. And really, you want to be doing it in a very observational, sort of open-minded way where you are seeing what's happening. Just from a reps perspective, you do not have the amount of ammunition to put in the reps to affect what you're doing. 10 round drill, you can run it 20 times. That's not enough reps to really do anything. It will reveal to you your habits. If you pay attention, if you shoot it aggressively, if you assess it, you're not going to change what you're doing fundamentally in that time. Well, what do you, well, what is the point of that, of shooting that ammo then? It's to show you what's going on. And so you can go and then practice it. If you find that your, your eyes being drawn onto the site, if you find that your grip's falling apart, if you find that you're over gripping with something, if you find that your shoulders are tensing up and you're driving the gun too hard around, whatever it is, shooting the live ammo is what reveals to you what's happening. And then you go to your, your dry fire practice and then you get the reps where you can put your brain on just changing that one thing and you can change your actual habits. What I like for a live fire session, I like two drills. I like to do two. That seems like a pretty good number for most people. I do it more complex to simple. I'm training for cold performance. I wanna shoot good when I'm cold. So I'll start with the most complicated stuff and then work into the more nuanced stuff. That works pretty well for me. As far as assessing the target, checking the target, four or five runs, that seems pretty good. Then you score in aggregate. Look for patterns. Don't focus on the micro. Don't beat yourself up for little mistakes. But instead, look at the big picture. Identify the pattern, the trends, the habits that are holding you back. Then you go work on it and dry fire. That's, that's what I suggest you do. Dry fire reloaded, all dry fire drills through and through. If you want to get really in depth on dry fire, you want to do a lot of it, this is the one for you.